Our grassroots initiative addresses one big issue, the digital divide. It's about a farmer not being able to sell his produce directly to the consumers online because he doesn't know how to use a computer. It's about a blind person not being able to explore the sea of knowledge offered on the World Wide Web because many websites today are less user-friendly for them. It's about a grandmother not being able to talk to her grandchildren in the city because internet service is just too costly. The digital divide separates the isolated from the connected in the 21st century. Today, approximately three quarters of the ASEAN population do not have access to the internet. That's why, to gather voices from both sides of the digital divide, we run both offline and online platforms. Our offline platforms include forming coalitions with like-minded social organisations to fight for work-life balance for all. Take starting a popular campaign, Internet for ASEAN, with the tagline, Everyone, Everywhere, Every Time, because this is what the internet should be to us. We're also conducting two surveys, one for the youth and one for professional women, in order to capture their needs and hopes for work-life balance. On the other hand, we also have four online platforms that include Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and Instagram. We are turning our offline efforts into online resources so that everyone can witness the growth of our movement. We want activists to start partnering up to make lives better in ASEAN under the banner of work-life balance. We want citizens of ASEAN, especially the youth, women folk, rural communities, people with disabilities, and the disadvantaged to begin discussions both offline and online about their aspirations for work-life balance. We want governments to be aware of the need to include work-life balance in policy making. Because work-life balance doesn't have to be a struggle or an excuse. Work-life balance could and should be an opportunity for all. Are you in work-life balance?